broadcast for shooters, hunters, and gun enthusiasts. This is the Firearms Radio Network. All right, so we're with uh, Taryn Butler from uh, Taryn Tactical Innovations. Uh, Taryn, I know you've got some uh, new stuff going on uh, to fit the PMAG, right? Yeah. A little bit of extension. Why don't you tell us about the product? Yeah, the Gen 3 PMAG just came out, and they made them for a reason. They're way better than the previous PMAGs. Look at the details. They're stronger, tougher, and I figured I might as well make it for that one. Um, what this does, it takes your 40 round PMAG, which is the most popular mag in three gun like that, because they got to have it, it's totally reliable. And I added a plus six to it. So I didn't want to go super long where you can't go prone with it, so everybody can still go prone with this. But once it gets dirty and you want to clean it and get it done, you push the pin. It's a little patented pin that's on our Glock mags and all of other mags. Push the pin, slide it off, take your spring out, run a shop rag through it, put it back, push the spring in, slide it on push the pin down and there you go 46 plus one plenty of room I don't want to make it so tight that that 46 doesn't beat that first round sure. I've lost major championships going boom with a 30 that doesn't really hold 30 and speaking of that here's their new gen 3 PMAG with the windows I like the window one better because when I took it apart it came with a chrome silicon spring and they're really long powerful springs I didn't have to go come out with a spring and change the spring that's perfectly fine as good a spring as you could possibly have so it's chrome silicon got the windows if you look at a gen 3 to a gen 2 they're way beefier you can't flex them and move them like the old ones I like the thicker window and the same thing you push the pin, uh, spring down slide it on push the pin down and what's cool like why do you want to have a uh, 35 rounds just go to the 40 over here I was just gonna ask you that because I've seen a lot of guys get DQ throwing a gun in a barrel with too long of a 48 round or whatever 50 round mag and it hooks the barrel and the gun falls out as they're blowing by and sometimes you're shooting 28, 29 rounds and 30 is just not enough. So they run that mag. But now you've got that middle ground where you can run 35 rounds and throw in the barrel and not look back and wondering, can I fit the gun in there? Am I going to crunch it into my shotgun? Because they set up all kind of crazy stuff to put guns in. Now, what kind of added weight do we have on this so you get a little bit more of that drop during your mag? Uh, it's, about, it's about an ounce. Okay. You know, a little, it adds more weight to get to come out. Some of the ARs out there, they got tight mag wells. And the PMAG doesn't weigh very much. They just stick. Right. You've got to shake it out. So this adds right. that weight. Uh, when you buckle them together with two of the, with the PMAG coupler, mm -hmm. it makes a great monopod that isn't too short. The 30s are a little bit too short. And then again, the, the spring tension is very powerful. So, and then if you want to leave it long storage loaded, put 31 or 32 in there, and the springs won't get all crushed because they're packed in right. you know, sardines. And that's it. Awesome. Great. And then we have them also for. The Glock, this is one of our most popular. Right. This takes your Glock 17 mag to 23 plus one. It fits in the gauge for competition, or just tactically, it's just an awesome mag to reload to for the zombie apocalypse. It's actually the exact same pin, I got lucky, it fits the P mag and the Glock. And slide it off, and clean it. Because the one thing that leads to jams is dirty magazines. You can't blame a car if you've got no gas in it. You want to blame a gun because you don't clean your mags, because I don't blame you for not cleaning them. It's too hard to get the bottoms off these things, you know? And the same thing for the Smith & Wesson. Push the pin, slide it off. These all come with an extra power spring. You should see it's like 40 feet long, but it gets 23 plus one and nine, or it gets 20 plus one and 40 for the Glock and for the M&P. Right. Thanks for uh, running these through it uh, with us. And uh, we're gonna see you around night. Yeah. 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 Mind the shootout. All right. All right. Well, thanks you. Thank you guys. Make sure you're there. All right. All right. Thanks you guys. All right. Thanks, All right. Darren. See ya. This has been a production of the Firearms Radio Network. You can find more information at firearmsradio.tv.